All right, this is a uh, practice problem on waves, vibrations, and sound. I have an audience of one. Her name is Carly with an Ann. Carly Ann. And I'm going to go over three quick problems. So instead of making an hour and a half movie, I'll just make a, whatever, two, three minute movie on... Uh, three simple quick problems. Now, if you do these problems, I guarantee that you will understand many of the problems on tomorrow's test. However, you should have already known of these problems because of the problem set. The, the, these are problems right out of the back of the chapter. A nurse counts 17 heartbeats in one minute. 76. 76. Thank you, Carly Ann. A nurse counts 76 heartbeats in one minute. What are the period and frequency of the heart's oscillations? A nurse counts 17 heart, 76 heartbeats in one minute. What are the period and frequency of the heart's oscillations? So now we'll look at the solution. And you see very clearly that period equals time over cycles. Frequency equals cycles over time. So we never use uh, minutes. Well, we would use a second. But if you use minutes for this problem, it would be one minute per 76 cycles or 76 cycles per one minute. One is the period and one is the frequency. You could certainly put these put these uh, notes on your outline and use these for tomorrow's quiz. Also, here's another one. New York's 300 meter high Citicorp Tower oscillates in the wind with a period of 6.8 seconds calculate its frequency of vibrations. Well, before we even do this, let me ask you, let me ask you, uh, what is the period? Well, the period is 6.8 seconds. So, in other words, it's 6.8 seconds per one oscillation. oscillation. Oscillation is one cycle from peak to peak. It's just one cycle. Up and down is one cycle. Okay? And so, if you take the reciprocal of 6.80, you take the reciprocal of that, it's 1 divided by 6.8, which would be 0.15 hertz. Now, if it says oscillations and it's per second, if, and, it's, and the period is in seconds, which is what it should be, that's your, that's your uh, SI unit, then right away you know that the frequency would be hertz. You don't even have to understand the dimensional analysis of the problem. You simply realize that, well, if the period is in seconds, the reciprocal of the period, which is the frequency, is hertz. Last problem. Calculate the speed of waves in a puddle that are point one five meters apart and made by tapping the water surface twice each second. So let's think. Velocity. We remember velocity as being distance over time. Remember that, Carly Ann? Distance over time. Well, for waves, it's going to be frequency times wavelength. It's a different way to calculate velocity. So the velocity of a wave is calculated by multiplying the wavelength, 0.15 meters, times the frequency, which is two taps per second. That's the frequency. Two cycles per second, or just two per second, or two to the negative one. So it's meters, uh, to, sorry, two second negative one. In other words, that would be two divided by one second. Let me not confuse things. So it would be lambda f, which would be 0.15 times 2, which is 0.3, 
meters per second. Now, stay tuned. I'm going to do a bunch of these little quick videos. This one is only 5 minutes and 15 seconds. So not too bad. A quick little vignette.